next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Rafael Asunsa. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. A Sun Tzu is nine years the elder. The Korean Superboy will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Up by L. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch gloves. film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Ooh, what a punch. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Now going upstairs with the left hook. If this guy doesn't move his head, this night is about to end. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, single collar tie now. 
Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. A Sun Sao gets caught with that punch. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice. And they separate. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. The big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice job there by Hoffa and Sun Sao. He's still staying home at Georgia to train with his brothers, Junior and Freddie. And if it's not broken, there's no need to fix it. Nice body shot there. Oh, eats a knee. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said, oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. 32 total strikes now have landed for Rafael Sun Sao. Sun Sao gets caught with that punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Choi gets touched by that kick there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, effective use of the jab by Choi. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Watch knees to the body. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch. The Sun Sao gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big right hook coming as well. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice kick. You guys are going at it. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Just missing on the uppercut there. And they separate. Nice counter left hook. Can't take many of those. You better check. Connects with a right. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. DC second round is okay, getting look, underway. Look, look, look. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Punch is blocked. Oh, big punch land. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Here he is back in the clinch. 
And there comes the separation now. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Epson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys are gonna stop from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Oh, strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big leg kick land. The Sun South's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. And how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. 90 total strikes have landed for Rafael Asensi. Not the most efficient performance, landing with 47% accuracy tonight against Rafael Asensi. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, single collar time now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Choi's hook to the body there. His block shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by a sunset. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Under two minutes to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw it. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, beautiful job of leading with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is a money shot, and he will continue to throw it. And they separate. Visibly limping here. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he caught the kick. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Battle for position here. And they separate. Nice strike. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice jab to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. 
All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. A Sun Sao going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Choi's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight. That is how you scramble, folks. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful punch. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Okay. And now he lands a combination. Oh, he might be out. Kick lands. Oh, huge block. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Nice punch lands. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not oh! oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Again, they clinch. Out of range with that one. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice short elbows in the clinch here by a Sun Sao. Joy gets caught with that punch. Tie. Pretty good knee to the body by a sunset. So once again, making good. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. What a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliano has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he